and good afternoon from Benoni in South Africa. And this afternoon we are all set to watch an important clash between Mozambique and Botswana. Pitch report before the first match and it looks very similar. Fair amount of grass but nothing that's lush or green which will allow the ball to do something and it's had a few hours of sun so we've seen uh, today already that well it was a one-sided match but there is evidence that this still is and will remain a very good batting pitch. Philippe, you've got the coin? Yes. Okay, let's go. Heads is the call. And it's a tail. You won the toss. Okay, Philippe. Right. Yeah. What are you doing? I uh, will ball first. All right. What's the reason for that? Uh, because we saw the pitch and um, we see that, and I know how, how what uh, my 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 bearers have to offer so i think i saw them betting yesterday so i think if they come with the same uh, way that we did yesterday we can easily chase the score Karabo, what would you have done uh probably he would have still had a bet even though it's a new pitch i think uh the best way to go about it is to try and put runs on the board so the news from the middle is that mozambique have won the toss and have decided to field this is the Botswana team, and among them, Inzema Master, who scored 40 in the last, and Silas Pomelo are the two batsmen to look out for, Reginald Nehande, of course, as well. And don't forget, Mysuria Dhruv, the leg spinner. He picked up 5 for 18 on his last outing. All eyes on him, no, no doubt. And Mozambique. So with them, Francisco Kuana is the impressive top order all-rounder. His last outing, 53 of 37. And Felipe Cosa, 46 of 38. So we'll be watching out for them later this evening. And it was their batting performance that encouraged the captain, Daryl Cullinan, for him to actually elect to bowl first and give his batsman a chance to maybe overhaul whatever is put on board. Those that have elected to bowl first, bat first, have only won four. Plunka is the uh, left-handed opener. Pitch used in the match. It was the first match of the tournament, and uh, but we've got to see a lot more of them. And uh, so they certainly have a good uh, variety of uh, of talent in amongst them. Reginald Lehonde being one of them. This is where they are at their best. Is that top three? A lot will depend on the captain. So the first ball about to be bowled. And Simanko is the baller with the ball in hand. This is a well taken run. Morale, morale. Settle the nerves a little bit, getting off the mark and the team picking up their first run. And Daryl Cullinan to replace myself in six. Just wide of the wide slip. Could have gone to hand and with the ball. A fielder hanging on to the ball there. Good judgment for the second run. Well taken. It's a lovely pickup stroke, but uh, generally what happens is uh, sometimes you feel you've middled it, you've done well with it, and then it goes straight to hand. And four runs to Maflanka. This one, unfortunately, it's, it's spun away from the fielder, unable to block that. End of over number two, ten without loss. And uh, the nine meter boundary has been uh, exploited with a lovely looking shot for four. Lovely stroke by Nehonde. Nehonde taking advantage of a ball that's too straight. It was one of the impressive aspects of his knock. 16 without loss after three. It might have been the knock of the tournament. Directed, might have been out here. Yeah. Flanka and Nehonde have that. Is this a top edge? It didn't matter where the wind's coming from, Daryl Cullen. That's gone for a big six. He just timed it so beautifully over the top, and that's a big six on any ground. Good clean hit from Motlanka. Wow, this is a beautiful shot because he's just taken that little pre-shot movement. Well beautiful. picked up. Very smooth in the way he's executed his strokes. 
you can't bowl loose to this man. And uh, again, he's just helped himself, knew exactly what he wanted out of it. Over the, over the inner ring, it's going to be a boundary. 39 without loss after five. Thank you, six. Francisco Kuana. The man who batted quite beautifully yesterday. Right in front of the stumps, and perhaps there's bat to that. Lunge forward. Plenty of confidence in the captain. He's not short of experience. 41 for no loss. He was dropped twice. Once by that man on your screen, Javo, and once by the Mozambican skipper in the covers. Yeah, outside of stump. If there's width, and you've got to take the width on offer. Straight back over the bowler's head. Look at that. Releasing the hands straight through the ball. Experience. Yeah, it'll be a single, maybe even two if they run hard. No, they're going to settle for the one. The interesting part about that. And it'll be over for the nine for the loss. Botswana. Two matches, five wickets, which is a result of their first class cricket. Way, that's wow. close. Bold. That's gone straight through. Whoa, that wasn't too far away. Yeah, beautifully bold. And so forth, there's no grip. It plays psychologically. That's a lovely shot. Lovely shot through the gap. Four runs. Looking for the gaps. Eight overs gone, 59 for no loss. Still searching for his first wicket, Dima, of the tournament. Slapped onto the ground through the covers to pick up a single. No, they won two. Yeah, another fumble doesn't help the Mozambican cause here. There's been a lot of fumbles. Jose! Looking for two again here. Jose! King row! Yeah, brilliant. Again, there's a slight slip there from the fielder collecting the ball. So psychologically, perhaps that's why we're seeing the fumbles. Thickish edge, a bit of a fumble, slips again. Struggles to get grip to get up, but manages to get on his feet. Another slip. Eventually, the over comes to an end. Fantastic. Fantastic delivery. Good bowling. On the money corner. To a lively Mutlanka this afternoon. Yay. Hello. It's slightly darker now. But does well to evade or the end of the over 10 gone 73 for no loss. Catch it! That should drop short. Points well made. And Gomez, 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 Gomez. They probably also have Gomez. a target in Run mind. Out. The running has been exceptional between this uh, pair. He's gone Gomez. across the line. It was certainly Nohondo who was given the task and it's been dropped. Nine catches they've dropped so far at Mozambique in the tournament. 80 for no. The fielder at the square leg boundary, he's right in view of where we are sitting. And he looked good at this stage. He looked good, he was set, he was steady, but those hands, he never had his hands in the correct position early on. Yeah, he's gone again, the right hander. On the, and he's hit this more successfully, more out the middle, and it's gone very far. Oh, this is straight up. It's uh, come off the face of the bat, and the yeah! keeper does magnificently. On, that is such a well judged catch. You expected that something was going to give because the batsman on the Honda in particular was given the instructions go for it. But what a good start. 86 for one. He's done his job with his opening partner. He had just hit a sixth first ball of the over. Over beautifully set up. Maybe the adrenaline still going. So he decides on a second. Good catch there. And the man at Deep Square is going to rush over to the keeper and say thank you as the rain starts to fall.
The Honda that's been entertaining, 41 of 36. Valentine Mombaso. Twelve overs bowled, ninety for one. Partnership of eighty-six for the opening wicket. Gust of wind, watching the pens of the umpires and the fielders. Can't be easy to control the ball in this kind of conditions, especially if you're a spinner. That's nice, nicely played and placed, and he's going to get four. Thirteen gone, ninety-six for one. 70 80 ah! scores the most runs in the tournament and this will be the 50 very well played from motlanka leading from the front and he's got hold of the loose deliveries and he's dispatched this beautifully just wide of that uh, sweep on the offside ah! and now he plays a deaf little uh, glide down to the third man area for a single. And that, that to me is obviously very vital. And I'm sure as, as time goes, they'll play and be exposed to these type of conditions a whole lot more. All the bells and whistles may not be there, but that's 22 yards. You can produce consistent bounce. And that is all you need to produce good cricketers. End of the 15th over, 112 for one. I'll be looking for two again, and I think they're going to get it. Oh, it's a direct hit. Direct hit. This is going to go upstairs. Ah, oh, he's out by a meter. He's out by a meter. He shouldn't even be sticking around. Not for that. Brilliant bit of feeling. Karabo Mutlanta, the skipper, 56 of 42 deliveries, is dismissed by a run out. 113 for two, Abitwana. Charles says I was enjoying this innings and keen to see how he'd go about the final five overs. Would he free the arms? The first person to know all about it was Mutlanta. He has a proper delivery. Hands on head. Bit of a laboured run up burn is dispatched towards Cal Corner. Basso. Clears the front foot, gets the connection. No need to run. Six runs. This is Hammett. Beautiful hit over extra cover. This is really a scintillating stroke. It's very well played. Looking for connection. Long on, long on. Dive in vain. Four runs. So the boundaries are flowing now. Somehow Mozambique is going to have got to find a way to stem the flow of runs here, stop the bleeding, because otherwise they're going to be chasing 170 if it continues like this. Didn't quite get it, turn is taken. Gee, they're taking the difficult catches. Yeah, he's hit this firmly, but it's uppish and the cover's a little deeper. Uh, that's been taken. Good catch. 128 for three. Botswana. Balakrishnan walks to the crease. Edge, edge. Taken. Right on the edge of the circle. Oh yeah, certainly trying to uh, hit a boundary ball at the moment. And Balakrishnan top edges that one. Simple catch for the man with back a point. Puts one to lose yet another wicket. They fourth on 130. Drilled. Double ground. Pass the ball. Pass the umpire. The two fielders and long on and long off just pierces them. Four runs. Again, it's wide and it's low and requires just the bottom half of the bat. Top edge. It's up in the air, third man. Wow. 
a complete contrast. Yeah, so there's a few questions been asked here about whether that catch bounce or not. And I saw the umpire having a chat with the fielder. Let's have a look at this. Banner certainly walked off, but the non-striker I noticed, the non-striker I noticed had a good look and perhaps a bit of a comment or something to say. So Pasi now, have a look at this, he stopped. And I just wonder if it may be worth the umpire referring this upstairs. Have they given it out? I think they have. Walks towards the ball. Off the knee. And so it will allow these two to come back for two. End of the over. The final two overs. Oh, that's it over the bowler. Long off, and that's an excellent cricket shot. Six runs. Got underneath it. Releases the arms. Knows there's a man out there, out in the deep. But backs himself, backs his ability. And that's why it went all the way. 150 up on the board for Botswana as well. Wide, and it's picked up. That's uh, six runs. <laughs> Explosive batting. Clears the front foot down on one knee. His partner's coming towards him, but he was not running at all. He was sure of what he was doing, and he was sure where the ball was going. Oh. Top edge. Went underneath it and uh, dropped. 19 overs ball, 159 for five. Is this big? It's high, it's high, and it's over the ropes. It's six more. Oh, yes, it's disappeared onto the embankment. Deep cover is brought into the circle. Car corner being pushed out. That's long, and that's big. It's gone with the wind. Six more. 12 off the first two. Wow. This is some serious hitting here. Yeah, this is actually an interesting shot because it's outside of stump. The length is wrong, of course, but I mean, if I look at the line, it's outside of stump, but it's still disappeared over deep backward square leg. Oh, yes! Oh, yes! No, no! As it's parried over the ropes. Three out of three. Well, 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 what's going on here? Some uh, entertainment towards the back end of this Botswana innings. We were looking initially at 160, suddenly 18 of the first three balls. Uh, he wasn't right on the boundary there, Philippe Corsa. Top edge. Does it have the wheels? Oh, it is. No ways. Chaucer turning it on in Pinoni Willemot Park. Whoa. Bola under pressure. Let's have a look. Look at the line. And how's he doing that? I mean, yeah, I know the wind's playing a part, but he's swinging hard, isn't he? Now then, 49 of 13. 183 becomes the highest team total thus far in this tournament. Bola under pressure. His fielders haven't been required yet in this over. Oh, that's man. straight. That's straight. The last laugh. <laughs> there it is, he's sending him off, he's pushing him off. You've entertained us. So says on his way, 49, one away from a 50. 49 of just 14 deliveries. I tell you what, Trosse, you put yourself in and amongst some stars of T20 cricket. And that's certainly without a send him off. Send him off. How can you wrap it up? Says next side. Can he pierce the gap? He'll find the first and the second comfortably. Look for the third. Yes, no, no. That's it. What an entertaining innings. 185 for six. Wow, the last 10, 11.2 and over. That's 112 runs. The last five overs. 74 at the run rate of 14.8 the last five overs that was massive 
This is the highest score of the tournament so far. There it is. Tata Ioana Chose. 49 or 15, but it was the early work from Mutlanka. 56 or 42. Nehonde, 41 of 36, and Mbazo. A special innings from him as well in that partnership that he was in, 27 of 21. A look at the bowlers. Yeah, some traveled. Simango in his two overs, no for 20. Koane picked up the one wicket. 11 and overs, just not good enough. Felipe Corsa, he had picked up two early wickets before that final over. And it was just carnage from there on. 185 for six. That's where Mozambique end on. There we go. Eventually he was dismissed. Dismissed the target. He's 186. It's Mozambique. are going to have to come out and chase down in 10 minutes time. Please join us. can remind you of is a score of 185 is the sixth highest t20 total at this ground for a team betting first Jose Belule Francesco Kuhane he played well yesterday he was impressive with some back foot drives square cuts for them it's just a question of getting out there expressing themselves not being reckless and now he'll want to really show his response. And we know he's capable. But Mozambique off the mark with that single to Pulele. Oh, what a start. Well bowled. One without loss after one. Your first six, six overs become very important. It's not so much about preserving wickets. You either win it in the first six or you throw it away. Let's see their approach. Neatly played. That's over. Over called. Excellent bowling by Chose. Oh, that's a glorious stroke. Just backed away to the leg stump, made enough room, saw the flight on offer, and he's dispatched his through extra cover for four. He's not the prettiest of players, but. When it's under the eyes there, he hits it well and he knows where he's hitting it. And he's very strong in that area. And his two boundary riders on the offside. And he'll bring the one into play with a uh, lovely little touch. Oh, what a wonderful over. Just a single coming off that, would you believe? Four is complete, 13 without loss. Four behind, one behind point, three in front of a square in the cover region, but uh, no one back there. Action short of a delivery, delivered from way back, and that's even made it easier for him to pull it away. Bowling has deserved the wicket. He's been exceptional, he's been great. He's been a thinking spin bowler. There's the drift, Daryl. Beautiful. The drift will set them up. Uh, Bulele, they caught on the crease, not forward, straight through the gate. He's out for four, and Mozambique now 22 for one. Joe Hau comes in at one down today, and Hussein Munak and uh, Sik Sochalelwa will also be one down. No, cannot pull that line, and you'll get away with that one. in the air because it's been a quiet over so he needed to free the arms and it's taken inside the circle Come on! that's a second well taken it went high and there is a strong wind so he had to steady himself and he did very very well here comfortably taken in the end he has gone for one 25 for two yeah, i think he was bowling well and with good control then why not he can bowl through, there's no real reason to hold him back. Yeah. Oh. Oh, it's just darts it in, doesn't he? Okay, see. Mm, he's bowling quite quickly at the moment. Seven gone, 27 for two. Where? Maposa. Lanky, right arm. 
medium pacer. <laughs> Hello. From the minute it left the bat and passed the man who's inside the circle. Yeah, he's played this well, hasn't he? He's dug this out. He's also managed to open the blade. But have a look how late he's played this. He's played this almost in either his back foot. So that's very well played. Credit to uh, Kossa. Yeah, 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 yeah. Brushes the batter. Swabbles around and is hopping along and makes his ground. And perhaps he might just have injured himself with all that effort. Uh, and it's yes. over, a gone 36 for two. Drew Mysuria. And uh, he's the young bowler who picked up five wickets in the previous match against Ghana. Edge over Smith. So there's a chase. Two men after it. And they pick up two. No, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Slight fumble. Back, there will be more. Oh, yes, there will be more. Yeah. Sloppy work here in the field from Botswana. You've got to say, they've run four. There's a sloppy first lead down here by the slip. And right now, just creeping towards 13 and over. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. Well played. Played it nice and late. And he threaded it through the gap there. Just beat the man at point. And look at this. This nice side on view. Played it late. That's a secret. With that stroke, and then a little bit of juice takes it even further away. Oh! Extra bounce this time around. Taken neatly behind the stumps to end the over. He's first. Yeah. Okay. 45 for two. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'll pass that slightly more direct in this over. Targeting the stumps. Pick up two. <laughs> yeah, slightly more fuller in this over. Mm, should have been one day. Definitely a single. Nonetheless, over bow, 10 gone. 50 for two. Groove. The leg spinner. Five for yesterday. And that has been stopped. This should be his first of this match and is. And he adds one more to his tally. Beautiful flight. The second over this is and his first wicket in the match which gives him number seven. Out for 10 of 16, 50 for three. And 50 for three, it's the last Emilio. That's where he wants to be because it does invite something to be hit down the ground or square the wicket and it's come off for... He saw it get up, put the left foot down and swung with all that he had and... Well, it's six in the book. Clear chance for a second and well taken. Uh, it was two from the moment uh, they set off for the run. 12 gone, 62 for three. Get it! Keep up. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Get him. How's that? Ah! Yes. True. That's good cricket by Kuana because he was facing the fielder and turned to say no. His back was in the air. Yes, that will be referred and be given out. Classic example of never turning blind. Good throw coming in from the distance. Out for eight. 63 for four. Santana oh, Dima now joins uh, Kuana. Oh! <laughs> Missed that in your heart, but he hasn't. <laughs> 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 pushing hard. Yeah, he wants the third. No, good call. 
not to challenge the arm in with a chance of getting a wicket. Catch him, catch him, catch him, catch him, catch him Yes! It went up, it went just over the keeper's head. And in the end, he had to die for it. He lost sight of it. I don't think I've ever seen a catch where whoever's due to take the catch has probably had a look at about three, four areas. And, and lucky it went high enough, so he had time to recover. Team out for two. Drew picked up his seventh, second of the match, 66 for five. Right, I'm over. No, you're right, short third man at the point of the catch about to be taken. He was in that uh, slip range. Yeah. Hey! Foot's up. My first impression, the foot was up. There we go. Had it been down, it still would have been out. Beautiful flight. Rodrigo. Out for a duck, 66 for six. Really good to watch. And there's something else about him that I will mention to our viewers. Two slips in position. As soon as he was, he was done on the previous day with his match, having picked up five wickets, he brought the match ball. White ball. Oh, and it's going to run away to that fine leg boundary for four wides. Yeah, Kuman has been helping the commentary team along as well. He's appreciated some of the stuff that's happened on the other end and he's commented. End of the over, 14 gone, 75 for 6. But Kuman has said to Navicha, it was very demonstrative the way that he spoke to him. And this is straight to Madoff. So the captain there oh. and uh, <laughs> Kuman just deciding that enough was enough, he was going to look to attack Drew the spinner and hit him down the ground. A good front on picture of this particular dismissal again just proved and shown to me that Drew really giving it a rip. 33 of 38, 76 for 7. Oranko ah, Simanko in to join. Uh, Navicha. Hey. Opens the blade. Excellent fielding. Excellent. He's uh, energetic and is. Um, oh. I do believe the ICC and. Um, Oh, here's a, here's a little misunderstanding. Maybe a run out. No. Oh, they may no, even no, get no. an extra run out of it. All right. A lot was happening there. A lot of miscommunication and wires being crossed. All's good. All's well that ends well. Strikes on to the offside. Balas! Kalapai! Keeper! They come through for two. Good try, good try, Mula. Go. Thick outside edge. Well 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 just a single. Zay. You may well find that if you look at women's cricket, in, for example, in South Africa, his legs behind yeah, yeah, men's no, cricket by a long way. Now, way. you could take a country like Cameroon and maybe even Mozambique, 92 for 7. Hey! That's a, that was that. Yeah. Upstairs. Nate behind the stumps and a nod from the wicket keeper as he's confident he's got his man. Flight. Looking for the big shot. Yeah, he's got it. Still waiting for confirmation and there it is. That's the eighth. So Lorenko Simango, he's gone for four of ten. Mozambique 92 for eight. Bernard, what do you have? Simango. And the rest, as they say, is history well now. Did it, was this another one of those where he's dragged the back foot? Another clean take behind the stumps. 
better eager to come on to the front foot and he's gone. Yeah, they'll beat them in the flight, draw them forward, and he has to oh, yeah, depart yeah, for yeah. a duck. 93 for 9. Zephanius Machine. It's up in the air. A little teaser. 19 overs bowl, 94 for 9. Right, final over. Yeah. Yeah. Vino yeah. has picked up two. Can he pick up a third? And it's in the end. It's the final delivery. Yeah. That is the final yeah. wicket for Mozambique. Yeah. Top performance from Botswana. Outstanding. Abasi picks up a wicket. And that uh, wraps the game up. But at the end, these are the pictures we like seeing. No matter the deep feet and the margin. Thank you. That's what they'll be saying. Thank you very much as Botswana win this match by 91 runs. And as the sun sets in Benoni, South Africa, Willemo Park, this is the scorecard. Mozambique put a hope in Koana that he would steady and be the anchor, but he could only manage but 33 of 38. Kosa, 10 of 16. But it was in trips and drabs that they would eventually limp towards 94 in match number 10 on day six. A look at the bowling. Molek Mokwezi, one for 20 in his four. Chose, one for seven in his three overs. Nor for 27, Maposa, but showed plenty of pace. Two for 11 for Vinu. One for seven for Abasi. But, but, if you haven't, there's the name. Dhruv Kumar Mysuriya. Four for 20. What a performance. And let's go downstairs now with Aslam Kota was with the Botswana captain. Well bedded first of all for your 50 and it was a key to good opening stand with Nihondo. A very good start and that was required. Yes, uh, that was in our plans. Uh, try and get a solid start to allow the guys towards the back end to really take advantage of the wickets in hand. So uh, I'm just glad that it all came together today. Thank you very much. Congratulations again on a wonderful progress in this tournament. Thank you. Summation, Botswana, 185 for six. The captain, Karabo Mutanka with 57 of 43. Chose 49 of 14. What an innings. What a final over from Chose. Putting all the bowlers under pressure, but in particular one bowler, that of uh, Kosa in that final over, who managed to pick up two wickets in his four overs, or two wickets in his three overs. Koana, one for 44 in his four. And in reply, Mozambique fell short. They fell short, Koana. Provided a bit of hope with these 33. Navicha, 12 of 19. But it is the potency of Dhruv who picked up four wickets in his four overs. Four for 20. Vino, two for 11 in his two. Chose and Abasi picking up a wicket apiece. In the end, Botswana winning this match. Match number 10. 91 runs.